oh six mm. I started teaching. Amazing, amazing. Really quick, shouts out to uh, Susan Batson, mm. formerly of the uh, the Black Nexus Studio, now the Susan Batson Studio. I know a lot of actors got their start there. Oh my for for the listeners that don't know, um, she is a coach to Nicole Kidman, yes. Jamie Foxx, Chris Tucker, Janet, Janet Jackson. Jackson. Um, she's worked with Tom Oprah. Cruise before. Oprah, Oprah, and now. Um, Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Right. God damn. The list goes on. Yeah. So this lady is not a game. Yeah. She She's the real deal. And that's actually where I got my start from. Her and you. Mm. And um, one of the big things for me, and I, we were joking about this now, but th this shit is so important to me. Like, this is huge to me. Um, at a time where I was in school full time, I was doing uh, work study at the studio. I yeah. was interning somewhere else. I was also dancing. I was going out for auditions with modeling. And I was just spreading myself too thin. And I didn't even know what that was. I mm. thought I could just do it all. And I remember every Sunday for about two years, I gave up every Sunday. And from <laughs> about 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., I would be work studying. And I'd just be tired after. And I want to go... I want to go out, maybe have a drink, maybe session a little bit. We're breaking. And I would just be giving you some half-assed excuses and being like, I I can't make it today. I, I got I got something to do. I got homework. And you'd be like, you ain't shit. You wouldn't say <laughs> I it. didn't say that. You didn't I say it I with your words. <laughs> it was but you said look. it with your eyes. And you like, it was like a mother seeing through my bullshit mm. seeing through me and without and this is so powerful because without any words you made me realize the significance of holding myself responsible for the dreams that i speak into existence right and the things that i say that i want to do right. and that for me was the first time that i ever had anybody either say you know what it, it was either you know what you're either going to be here or you're not and tell me that or Ah, you know, you, you, you're full of shit. You didn't say well, anything. Well, the, yeah. the, the big thing with me um, was about that was like, I, I, I'm not going to settle for mediocrity from you. Yeah. I said, you know, in, in my spirit, I said, I, I'm not getting down with that. I mm -hmm. said, I, I don't buy into it. Mm -hmm. I don't co-sign on it by any means at all so you do what you got to do and when you're ready you know i wasn't gonna bow brow beat you or anything mm -hmm. but if my i don't have a filter and i think it comes with teaching yeah you know i used to have this different public persona but now i'm like this with everyone like with my mom my brother you my 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 actors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just straightforward, you know, and that that whatever those excuses are, I said it just it was almost heartbreaking. Yeah. To me. And I was like, he's got so much. Thank but you. he's he's not <laughs> he's not doing the damn thing. And it's like pissing me off. Yeah. And you know what, too, as a teacher, it <laughs> it requires a lot of patience. Right. It's it's the combination, I think, of patience and being able to inspire mm. that's what are the elements the bare bones of having a great teacher and you have that and i feel like you have the ability to draw that from so many students and i'll always love and appreciate that thank you um thank you i'm really proud of the work that we do together absolutely we and my other students you know uh it's just so important you know mm -hmm. and uh Audrey Lord says, you know, we as actors have have the uh, ability and opportunity to touch the consciousness of the recipients. Mm. And that's the, the depth of the work that I like to incite and bring forth out of my actors and and peculiar and bold and a little off, I think, is great. You yeah. know, I don't like safe choices. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so you you had a journey from the time that you were eight or nine till now, and what what's been the most challenging part of that journey for you? 